I want to address something that's so important, and you got to get a handle on this right now. When we talked about predictions, Edgar Casey. Why are predictions that are far off in the uh, future most likely not to come true? And how we actually do have control over that? Why are things that are here in the present moment predicted more accurate? Well, I mentioned this in my last video, but I want to talk to you today about something, and that is the energy field and the thoughts of what others do, how it affects us. Because I did an experiment, and I got to tell you, I didn't really like it too much, but I did it because I wanted to absolutely see how things are affecting people out there who are doing this every day. What did I do? I looked up my horoscope on YouTube. I never do that. I feel that I absolutely control my present thoughts and beliefs, actions, actions, and also that creates my future. And if I don't like what's happening, I am completely in control of those decisions that I make to change that future. What happens when you hear about your personal future from somebody else? What's really actually happening in the quantum field? You're not going to like this if you're watching those and get ready because I'm going to show you something that can absolutely take you to a much higher place than any horoscope can take you. So warnings about predictions, horoscopes, I'm going to tell you why right now. Welcome to Leandria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. Break through fear to get my book, It's Changing Lives. I talk about exactly what's going on right now. And I've talked about the turning point that we're in. I talk about going into the knowing. What is it? You can go into these amazing spaces no matter what's happening out there. Now, my little doves, if you saw the pictures, I'll show the pictures now of the doves that um, had babies right here a couple feet from, from my desk. Uh, she's scoping the place out again. No, no. Oh no, I won't, I won't scare her off, but oh, we had to tiptoe around for at least two, almost three months so that these babies could be born. A lot of amazing things are happening no matter what happens in our world out there. And I want you to know it doesn't stop you from accomplishing any goals that you want to go after. In fact, these challenges can open things up for you. Now, first of all, I'd like you to uh, subscribe if you like my channel, and you can click the uh, bell and let uh, YouTube know that when a new video comes out, you want to be notified. A lot of you guys are saying, I'm subscribing, I'm not hearing anything. Well, if you don't click the bell, it's probably not going to keep sending you those messages. The other thing too is Digital Explorers, this is free. We're creating planet conscious businesses. We're changing the planet. We are empowering ourselves. We're gonna talk about that today. How do I change my life? How do I change my circumstances? How do I earn money and flourish in this craziness out there? It's all happening. We have amazing things that are getting ready to launch here. Major turns have happened in my country for many, many reasons with our weather, our politics, everything. So many unexpected things are happening. And so everything is in your hands because no matter what decisions are made with the collective, you still have control. And I'm gonna talk about that right now. Your energy field is connected to everything. So when you connect to anything negative or conspiracy or what every single thing counts, what you look at, what you listen to, what you uh, do every day. I, you know, I spent uh, yesterday morning, went to my friend's uh, boutique and bar and worked all day uh, uh, helping restore the place. I created a whole boutique. <laughs> that was my assignment, create the boutique. And she, it, the whole thing went down. We had all the clothes over there. I created a little shopping boutique right in the bar. We had a blast and she said, this is when you find out who your friends are. This is what's going on right now. You're gonna find out who truly is in that awakened state. You're gonna find that out. Now, some people are here in very dense states of being. They're just lost in density. 
they're choosing to stay there. They have every opportunity to go up to the penthouse. They want to explore it. We're not going to judge that. We're going to create. That means that no matter what that person or that politician or that weather does, you absolutely can flourish right now. It has never been more of an uh, opportunistic time for you to do that. I want to express this today. This is very, very big for you. I did an experiment. I've been listening to this guy. He's supposedly really good. He appears to be amazing and know what he's doing. Doing horoscopes. Now, I don't, I never watch any of that stuff. I don't really believe in it because I think we control our destiny and because so many people are just so different all the time. Who, who's right and who's wrong? Uh, well, I'm the only one in control of my life, my personal experience. But I thought, what happens when we place our attention, because I won't experiment with conspiracy theories, so I thought I'll experiment with this. Now, first of all, I want to ask you a question. If he's, if he's using the cards with his energy and these cards that flip out f just for Pisces, right? So, so another uh, deck you know, that's being shuffled by somebody, another tarot card reader. You know, they have cards flying. If I'm not there, choosing those cards, which I thought is the way to do it, you tarot card readers can tell me about this. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Um, because, you know, he's pulling my cards. So he does this reading, and one day, it is amazing. I mean, it's amazing. I went, of course, and I, I felt it. Of course, that feels good. <gasps> wow. Now, I know that he's just tarot card reading and that I'm the one that has to make it happen. I know all this, but it affected my energy field. Of course it does, right? It always feels good to hear you're going to have this and this and this is all going to happen. Well, guess what happened two days later? Totally different reading totally different reading and it was for the same period of time I didn't do anything different and so there was this thing this problem and then there was this and then it was not related to our hurricane or anything like that and I thought wow this is interesting and then a couple of days later something very different now it was a love life thing and a relationship and a couple of days earlier i was supposedly you know it was about my business and the relationship there was nothing about relationships or and i thought this guy's all over the board you know why because he's just shuffling a deck he's just shuffling a deck and there's no one combination of these cards that predict my future because i'm sitting in a room with you know 500 other pisces is it going to apply for all of us? Of course not. And I realized, what if I watch somebody else's prediction, somebody else's tarot card reading? It was the same. No different. It, it doesn't matter. And I realized I can make any one of these fit. I can make any one of these fit. But I'll tell you what, when he had a reading, and this was, uh, this was actually yesterday, when he gave me a reading, well, this wasn't personal, it's, it's, on, it's on the internet, that um, there was some obstacle or, so, I can't remember what he said, something I didn't like to hear. It affected me. Did I believe it? No. Because I know I'm like, okay, I don't know what he's talking about, but nobody wants to hear that, right? I want you to realize that's how much it's affecting you. If you are watching that stuff, it's controlling you way more than you think. Because even you say, like, oh, that's not me. It's in the back of your head, right? You can't get it out. Do you ever watch a, um, like a murder mystery or something? You go to sleep and there's pieces of it in your dream. Those energy fields are a part of yours now. They're a part of yours. So even if you know different, it's still with you. Now, a lot of you guys have said, I know certain things, yet I still can't think clearly, or I still judge, or I still whatever. And you know, you know the right from wrong, supposedly there isn't any, but let's say you know the higher energy choices from the lower, and you still do the lower, knowing that that's not what you want to do, and that what the difference is, that you shouldn't be doing that if you want to achieve this other goal, yet it affects us. That energy affects us. You're great. You're up in the mountain with your little rice, 
and then somebody shows up and says something to you about the world and all of a sudden the world looks so different and it's scary or there's we're going to hell in a handbasket it could be any number of things any number I want you to know that you're choosing what to expose yourself to you're choosing that so you cannot blame that or that or that or that now I did watch the vice president debate and I don't watch any of that stuff, but I chose to expose myself to certain things. I was really glad I did. And I watched the presidential debates too. I wanted to actually see what everybody else has seen out there because I've watched absolutely nothing, right? I was not going to vote at all. But when you get involved in all this stuff, then people start to take sides and point fingers and they think they know what you're going to do or say it. And all of a sudden, their, your thought, their thoughts about you start to change it. Are you doing that? Are you doing None of this, it doesn't matter. My choice in whatever situation arises out there is the only thing that matters. Because I am the person contributing to the collective. And so are you. What are you choosing? So these predictions that are way out there, the reason why most of them don't come true, or at least in the time period, is because we have more time from here to there to make different choices. Now, if somebody reads you right now, they see what's going on right now based on all of the choices you made that have brought you here. And so they can see maybe the next few days or maybe the next few months or maybe a year. As soon as we get down way in the future, it gets trickier because now we have way too many probabilities that keep opening up based on what you choose here. It just changed this and this changed this and this. and So, so when you see these predictions, it's, oh, so-and-so said that. You're exposing yourself to all this stuff. And even if you don't believe it, it's affecting you. So Edgar Cayce, oh, the United States is going to, Florida is going to, okay, okay, so is this what you're focusing on? Right, we've got to be careful with that. So I take it a day at a time, and then I assess, de depending on what do I want to expose myself to, this is so critical, to make decisions about certain things I'm going to do. Let's say in my business, Digital Explorers. Do I want to keep doing this? Do I want to uh, help people to create planet-conscious online businesses? Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm making a difference in people's lives. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. Do I want to keep uh, talking on YouTube? I don't know. I've wanted to quit a couple times. I've, sometimes I'm thinking it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm not bringing any real positive impact to the planet. And then somebody will say, Landry, you've changed my life. And I go, okay, just one person. It's worth it. So you have to make decisions based on what you're going to do for yourself at that moment. If you expose yourself to things out there, that choice that you are making is going to change now. And it may not be in a positive direction. And you're going to try and get that out of your head once you've done it, once you've exposed yourself to that conspiracy or whatever it is. You cannot undo that information. That energy is with you forever, including when you, you leave this planet. That all comes with you. You don't like go, boom! I'm done with everything, I'm an angel. No, you're in that uh, space without illusion. The pain of illusion is dissolved because you're no longer participating in it. But you still bring all the energy fields of the decisions you're making right now. That's the, it keeps going. It doesn't end here. You know, it's like, okay, now I'm all, oh, oh, great. No, I have to go learn that thing again. No, you're actually carrying that. That's why people, near-death experiences, will experience the things that they relate to. Did you ever see the movie Contact? Jodie Foster, you know, they're going to take her into an, some other dimension and they say, oh, it didn't work. Well, but it did. She was gone for a period of time, but on planet Earth, it appeared that, that nothing happened, that it was a failure. When she went into that other dimension, she was on a beautiful, beautiful beach and in the distance, she saw her father walking toward her. Well, her father had died. And she absolutely adored her father. He came up to her and talked to her. And she asked, is it you? And so after a little period of time and a little bit of discussion, this 
being that appeared to be her father said, we appear to you with whatever you can relate to. Otherwise, it would create a different energy field. She might be petrified to see what this being actually looked like, or even if it wasn't um, uh, unattractive, still wouldn't relate. That he, They said, we wanted you to be most comfortable with that that you loved the most, and was her father. And that's, that's how it works. It's all illusion. So we can go over there and have these things presented to us that give us our own comfort level that we relate to. It's in our field of our creation. Isn't this interesting stuff? So predictions, all of it, it's you bringing this energy field and believing certain things and you're creating your actual future and reality, which could be totally different to mine. And you think, you think I'm there with you and everything. Yeah, a version of me is made that choice. And there's another and endless versions of us making completely different choices. But the version of me, that choices that I made with you, were participating in that illusion. It could be very unpleasant. But there's also an illusion where it's amazing you get to choose it. It's all existing at one time. It only becomes real when you place your attention to it. All right? We've talked about this. Wave and particle. What's a wave? A wave is potential. It's probability. This is quantum physics. This blew, blew the minds of the scientists. As soon as they placed their attention to whatever it is they were looking at, it would happen to be light, light beams. How, you know, how do they behave? They turned into particles. What? Intelligent attention turned the wave into a particle. It knows. Well, it is you. So when you look at it, it didn't go, oh, you're looking at me. You know you're looking at it. So the you that is that wave particle, right? That I should say that, yeah, that wave turns into the particle. There's no disconnect. There's no time. There's no, oh, here this happens and this happens. It's one instantaneous thing happening. You are that powerful and you are in control. So somebody said, well, I was, I've been a, a change maker since age seven and I sort of quit for a while. I said, when do you, you quit and did what? <laughs> Went out with the, <laughs> with the dense beans, that was more fun? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't work that way. Well, maybe in your world, of course, if you believe it, it does. But you can participate in any way you want. I mean, you, it, you don't have to step aside, you can Call yourself whatever you want. Label it your life whatever way you want. You can create whatever you want. You can participate in whatever probability is. One of you know one of them is we you know we blow ourselves up. The other one is we go into total euphoria. No predictor, no seer, can say any one thing for everyone. They can only see, and especially with. Uh, um, planet changes, that's more reliable because those are things that are evidently happening on the planet that the planet is choosing. It's not going, oh, I don't think I'm going to have a hurricane today. We'll do this instead. It's actually just evolving. It doesn't think like we do. It doesn't have that kind of limited consciousness. You know, we're in density. Planet is not in density. Earth. This is really cool stuff. So I want you to know that you can absolutely change anything. You've got to watch what you're watching. Mediums. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's the so and so says, and so and so. And it's, it's always some, you know, it's always somebody, Archangel Michael or Metatron or whatever. Like, that's all illusion, too. The one is just one powerful, beautiful being. It has no names. There are no names. They do it for us. It's done for us because we're in the density that requires that, that I can believe that. This is really crazy stuff, right? So what are you exposing your energy field to? It becomes a part of your personal experience. Unlimited, no, there's no line. You're connected, you are all of it. And it is all happening with you. Okay, so this is so important right now. So you've got to watch absolutely everything and watch the thoughts. If you have the thoughts, don't beat yourself up. Negative ones, just say, oh, there it is. There's that dense part of me that's, you know, judging again. And then you look at the person, you say, I don't have to have an opinion at all. Opinions are judging. I know. We all have them. 
you know, humans, we all have our opinions, right? But you don't have to, to identify with it and you don't have to claim it or allow it to control you or confine or limit you. All right. So this is a critical era we're going into. And I want you to understand that no one's telling you what your future is. No person sitting on the other side of a camera, you know, pulling cards tells your future. And then you watch somebody else and they say com something completely different. And if you watch somebody else's horoscope, you'll go, oh my God, that's mine. And if I told you, guess what? It's not. I just read somebody else's. Oh, oops. Especially if it's good. You go, oh yeah, that's totally mine. Mm-hmm. You know what? I could sit and predict your stuff all day long. I know everybody wants, uh, you know, beautiful relationships, or at least, if, if not with themselves, uh, they want to flourish, they want to be abundant, they want to have purpose, they want, you know, I can sit, we all want the same things, happiness, right? Health. So I can, I can name any of these things, and if they were positive, you'd say, yes, that's my horoscope, that's my future, so go ahead and pick it. Right now, let's do it. Write down your horoscope. What is it? Something amazing is going to happen for you. Something beautiful. Things are going to turn around in the areas that you're not happy with. You're going to learn something amazing from it, and you're going to use it to, to create something beautiful. You're going to be a change maker here. You go, somebody's going to come into your life and give you some uh, opportunity, or you know, there will be a, an amazing event happening soon. Your future looks beautiful and bright. You're going to go into an awakening. I can sit here and do it all day because guess what? It's all true because you can have all these things. You just have to claim it. But you got to get rid of the other thoughts that tell you different. So stop watching the stuff out there. And stop listening to people. You know, most of those channelers, they have fear-based stuff in there. I don't, I don't like that personally. That's not, that's not my thing. Why would anybody want to listen to fear-based? Why? Is that you? So be careful with that. So again, I hope I'll see you in Digital Explorers. If you want to if you want to learn something, why are you holding back? Achievers, they go after their dreams. And if you want to make a difference on this planet, you know, this is training. So you would have to go into the training with me and we would build something beautiful. If that's not your thing, this is not for you. This is my spiritual training, teachings, mindset, uh, prosperity. Yeah. How, how, how do people do? Why do some people win the lottery over and over again? Why, why do people like me? We can't even walk into a drawing. I'm, I, I always get it. I get the big drawings. My friend the other day said, this has to be rigged. I said, no, it's not. I was the only one who got the big drawing, eight day vacation. So what is that? I don't know, I just, I guess I don't have barriers, right? You don't get it all the time, right? I don't get it all the time. But when you let go of the barriers and the, the limitations and the negative thinking, stuff just flows in that you never imagined, and you can do it. So let me make sure my little dove isn't building another nest. And so I hope you'll subscribe again. Please support my channel because that's how we, here on YouTube, this is how we survive. We're not in survival mode, but this is how we make a difference. And when you support our channels, you are placing that frequency into the algorithm of the matrix, saying, I choose empowerment. I choose to move past fear. I choose to create my own destiny. You do. This is all true because everything's true. And you get to choose your truth, your whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.